friends, this is Chance with Fairview Greenhouses. In front of us here, we have a ni really nice Terenia. Now they are still a little bit young, as is a lot of things right now. We're still trying to get a little bit of body on everything and make sure we get a good bloom before we start moving to market. What we have in front of us here is a Terenia, otherwise known as a wishbone plant. So they get these really beautiful, almost like a calabrico or a petunia style bloom to it, but these are a nice full shade option. When I mean by full shade, you're talking about less than four hours of direct sunlight in the afternoon. Uh, they love a little bit of early morning sun and then a nice dappled sun after that. They do want to stay fairly wet, so I don't want to see them dry out too bad, and we want to fertilize regularly. Otherwise, you get really nice shades of purples, blues, and whites in Terenia. <laughs> this is funky tuberous begonia. This is my personal favorite of any of the tuberous. There's also mistral, there's non-stops, but the pink bicolor in this is just a real showstopper in the shade, especially a little bit of you know morning sun, afternoon shade. The main thing with tuberous begonias, I wanted them dry out very slightly before we water them again. They can suffer from a bit of a root rot if we get too much water in them. But if they're grown right, they just get this gorgeous rose-shaped bloom to them that is lovely. This is a streptocarpella in front of us here. They have a really amazing purple bloom to it. They do want a little bit of shade. So I want to see them have, you know, morning sun, afternoon shade, and I don't want them to get a bunch of water, but they do want to stay fairly watered through the week. Um, one to two times is perfectly fine, typically. These are babies, as you see them right now. They'll get about three to four times as large, and they do tend to trail down quite a bit. And they are a little bit messier than others. So if we're on like a really nice stained deck, you might want to take a broom to it every couple weeks. This is Tradescanti in front of us here. We have a really lovely color combination in the purples, the silvers, the tricolors. In front of us, this would be the burgundy. And they just get this amazingly full body. If we like a hanging basket, but don't necessarily want to bloom to it, we're really more interested in the foliage of it. This is one of the best options you can have for a little bit of shade, especially in the afternoon. A crowd favorite here at Fairview is chenille plant or a uh, fire tails plant. It's got a lovely bloom to it. They bloom all season long. They're great if we have kids at home that really want to touch a bloom, but you're always afraid that it's going to ruin it. Well, these can be touched and played with to your heart's content, and they're perfectly fine for it. Uh, amazing basket. They do want a little bit of afternoon shade through the summer, but in the winter months, they're a lovely houseplant. 